Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be designing this part. So let's start a new part file. The next thing we will do is change our units to millimeter. So under document properties, select unit, millimeter and click OK. Next, we are going to start by drawing the base and working our way up. So the base is going to be on the top plane. So select the top plane. Select sketch. First, we'll start with this cylinder. I'm going to make this circle for that cylinder on my origin point, And I'm going to draw another circle here. So these two circles represent these two cylinders. I'm going to select this point holding down the control key. Select this point add a horizontal relation. Next, we are going to add the dimension. This circle is 35. And this circle is 25. Next, we are going to add the, the distance between both circles, which is 80. Now we need to draw the rectangle around those circles. So use the line to draw something like this. All right? Draw something like that. We can add the back dimension. So from the back to the center of the circle, it is 150. And that is given right here. The dimension for this back part is 60. The only thing we need to do now is add our radius. So you can drag this out if yours is not sticking out. We know this, this part is centered to the this origin point. There are two ways you can do it. You can hover over this back line until you see that orange dot. That orange dot is the midpoint of that line. Holding down the control key, select it and select this origin point and add a horizontal relation. And that will put center that part to that origin point. Another way you can do it is draw a line from the origin point going out. Select that line, make it a construction line. Then you will click this point and click that line, holding down the control key and add a midpoint relation. So that will do it too. Now, we need to add our radius. Select three point arc. Select your first point. Select your second point. Drag out anywhere and just click. Now we have our radius. We need to add the dimension from this point and this point. If you look right here, they are horizontal. So select both points by holding down on the control key. Select both points. Add a horizontal relation. Now we can add our dimension, which is from this point to this point is going to be 20. So let me rearrange it so you can see. So you should have something like this. Now we need to add the radius dimension for the radius and that is going to be 50. Good. We have a fully defined sketch. Select the two circles and make them a construction. We will be using them later but we don't need them now so make them a construction for now. And now come to feature, extrude. We'll be extruding up and the distance is 10 and click OK. Select this drop down on the feature, right click and show the sketch. So we want to show that sketch because we are going to be using these two circles as a reference for to draw these two cylinders. Now select the top face, select sketch. I'm going to go normal two. I'll select that circle, the sketch, convert entities and it will Spread that same sketch on our sketch plane. Now we can go to feature, extrude, and the distance is 25. Make it 25 
and click OK. We'll do the same thing for this circle. Select this face, sketch, select that circle, convert entity, and now we can go to feature, extrude, and the distance for that one will be 10. Good. The next thing we will do is draw the rib. So, well, we will draw the rib, but we will use the rib tool to draw the rib. To do that, select your front plane and sketch normal two. And we are going to draw a line. Draw a line that is coincident with this top edge that is also coincident with that edge. And just to make sure if you don't have it this way, you can also click that point and click this top edge and pierce it. So you click the end point of that line and the edge holding down the control key and pierce it is the same. To make this rib tool work because of this is a circle and it, it would give you error that this line isn't touching. Add a small line over here. Let me zoom in so you can see. Add a small line over here and the dimension of that line make it 0.1. It's a very small line. So it's just what we need for that rib feature to work. And we will do the same thing on this side. So add a small line and make it 0.1. Good. We have a fully defined sketch. We will count, we will ex exit the sketch. Come to feature, rib. Select my sketch was pre selected, that's why. But if in case if yours is not, you can click on this drop down and select your sketch there. And make sure you flip, make sure the arrow is pointing down. We'll select this extrusion direction, the first one. And if your arrow is pointing up, you can use this flip to flip it. So make sure yours is pointing down. And we want to select this both, both sides and click OK. That's how we create that feature. We will do the same thing on this side. So I select my front plane, sketch, number two. I'm going to draw a line that is coincident with this edge and coming down the angle is 45. My sketch is fully defined. Again, if yours is not, click this point, click this edge, holding down the control key, select both and pierce it. It will do the same thing. Let's draw a small line up here. And I'm going to zoom in that line, make it point 0.1. Yeah, just a very small line and we'll exit. Now select my sketch. Select the rib too. So make sure it is the arrow is pointing in again both sides. The distance is eight. I think I didn't make the distance eight on the first rib, so I'll go back and check. And the distance is eight. It is parallel to the sketch, so going in. In case if yours is not, flip it and we'll click OK. Let me go back and edit this rib because I think I forgot to change the dimension to eight. Yes. So I'll change this to eight and click OK. Good. The next thing we need to start doing now is we can add our fillet. Select fillet. Dimension is two. And we will add the fillet to this edge, that edge, this, and this, and click OK. We'll select the fillet again and we'll add it to this edge. So just this once. Right? And click OK. Before I add my fillers, I'm just going to hide my sketch now because I don't need it anymore. Select that sketch and hide it. And we can add one more fillet. And it is going to be two. And we're going to add it to that corner. And click OK. Okay, there's one more fillet 
and it is going to be this four corner edge right and here and there and click OK so now we can cut this the holes in select this face um, sketch number two I'm going to draw a circle on the origin point and try that again draw a circle on the origin point the dimension is going to be 20 the diameter is 20 I select feature extrude cut and I will select up to next and click OK right there 20 up to next I'm going to do the same thing for this face select that face sketch normal two going to select draw a circle and just in case if your circle is jagged like this the way you can fix it is to come into the settings document properties um, image quality and drag this up here and click OK and you see now that is smooth so now select this circle and select that edge that circular edge add a concentric relation to it so that will center that circle at the same center point as that edge now we can add our dimension and our diameter is 13 and exit the sketch and feature extrude cut same thing up to next and click OK the last thing we need to do is cut this four holes select this face and sketch I'm going to go number two so using the circle draw four circles something like this we can also draw two circles on this side and mirror it but let's draw the four circle you can click this point holding down the control key click this point add a horizontal relation no a vertical relation right click these two points horizontal click these two points vertical and click these two point and add a horizontal relation or another way you can do it is you can just draw this two cut it and mirror it to this side um, now we can add our dimension from this point to that point it's going to be 30 which is right here from this point to this point it's going to be 28 from this point to this point it's going to be 35 and even though they didn't give us the dimension we know this is going to be centered here so a way you can do it is you can do half of 35 from this point to this point so just do 35 divided by 2 and that will give you half of it which is 17.5 the only thing we need to do now is add the dimension for our circle select all these four circles holding down the control key select all four and add the equal relation so now the circle are equal I'll just add a dimension to one of it and the diameter is 8 that is given right here and now we have a fully defined sketch next come to feature extrude cut up to next and click OK and that is how you create this part and I know I missed the dimension for the rib so make sure you go through the work and verify all the dimensions but at least this will give you a good workflow of how to create this part I believe all the dimensions are right but just um, double check your work and make sure you have all the dimensions thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial bye